Hi, I'm Jess, head squirrel at Squirrel's Bookshelf. <laughs> now, throughout the week, I spend my mornings working part-time at a secondhand bookshop where I do many, many things, including repair books. So today I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to repair paperbacks, specifically vintage paperbacks, which are a little bit more fragile, and I'll be using this Penguin book as an example because it has a lot of things that need fixing, but they're all pretty minor and pretty easy to fix at home with simple everyday items. So first up, we've got some pencil to erase. Now believe it or not, there is a right and wrong way of erasing. After all, we don't want to be creasing our pages or causing any damage to the fragile paper. So I always use a nice soft eraser, and I use my fingers to very gently stretch the page. If the page moves around too much, that's how it can slip and cause a crease. So by really anchoring your hand down, it keeps your pages protected. I also erase very gently and mostly in circular motions. A quick apology for the shakiness, by the way, I do still have a pretty primitive system and I'm working on upgrading it, so bear with me. Once that's cleaned up, let's take a look at the spine which is pulling away. All you need is some white PVA glue, it's water-based so it won't discolor over time, and a small paintbrush. I like to use a flat one. So you dip your paintbrush in the glue, don't worry, it'll wash out perfectly fine afterwards. I'm going to very gently pull back the spine so I can access those intersections and put a light coating of glue on both sides. And you just want to get little bits at a time. If you have too much glue, it can soak through the paper. Then I'm going to put a bit of glue on the tip of the paintbrush and run it very carefully along the inner joint. Now on a lot of paperbacks you'll be able to see where the original glue was placed, so you can use that as a guide. Alright, so we can close this up now and gently press along the front joint. We will be pressing it properly at the very end. We're going to glue the rear joint down the same way we did the front, but first let's tackle this little chip here. Now, of course, when we're gluing this part down, we don't want to glue the whole chip down because then the back cover won't open properly. So make sure you're only putting glue right at the edge of the page and the cover. Now, if I'm working with an edge that has glue on it, I actually like to use the end of my paintbrush to push it down rather than my finger because your finger can get stuck to things and actually cause bits to flake off. Now, as I mentioned before, we'll glue the rear joint down the same way we did the front one. and then gently press it down. Next, let's tackle these bits hanging off the spine. For these little ones, it's really just a light coating of glue on both sides. And then press it down with the end of your paintbrush. While it's drying, you can secure it with a rubber band. Make sure it's tight enough to hold it down firmly, but not too tight, or it can leave dents in your spine. Right, we'll leave that for about five minutes. For the foot of the spine, we could do the same thing, but since we need to press the joints down anyway, I'm just gonna show you how to put the book in a press with three different methods depending on your level of interest. For instance, if you're only looking to repair a couple of books, you'll probably want to do the first way, which is essentially creating a book press out of a bunch of heavy books. I'm gonna put one book down first and then put my paperback on top of that with the edge poking out just a little bit. We don't want the weight to be actually on the spine, just slightly inward. Then just stack some more books on top, maybe another, and another, and voila! If you have many books to repair, however, it might be worthwhile to invest in some sort of book press. You can buy this one on Amazon, or if you're DIY inclined, you could probably just make one. It's just plywood and some screws. It's very simple. Or if you're a complete book nerd just like me, you can go for a proper antique cast iron book press. The idea is essentially the same between the two, so I'll just show you the process in my book press. So in addition to the book you're pressing, you need another book that's slightly thicker. This is so that the press plate is angled down toward the spine that you're trying to press. So I'll stick my main book on one side of the press, and my other book on the other side. Again, with the spine sticking out ever so slightly. Twist the press nice and tight. 
And now let's tackle that spine foot. Again, just a bit of glue, a light coat on both sides. And I've got one little bit that needs to go underneath the main part of the spine, so I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush once again to just tuck that under. And roll that spine back into place. And that's it. Just let it sit for about 30 minutes to be safe. And when you're done, pull it up and admire your handiwork. If you have a book at home that needs repairing and you'd like to see a future video on how to repair it, please let me know in the comments.